Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna unbox the Lego Star Wars set 75361 Spider Tan. As you can see in the overall picture, it comes with three figurines that is Ding Jaren or the Mandalorian in, with the Duck Saber and then Bo Katan Crease and finally Goku. You also come with this spider kind of look like tank. If you have watched the Mandalorian season 3 already, you probably know this scene is coming out from. Uh, episode 2 when Mando or aka again uh, Ding Djurin needs to go to Mandalore to redeem himself the, the reason is because that he got exiled from his co or his the, the, the death the watch children uh, because that he took off his helmet back in season 2 and then in the book of Boba Fett the armor told him that he is a Mandalorian no more. So he needs to go back. Well, actually, he never been to the Mandalore, and he need. But he needs to go there to put himself into the water of the Mandalore to redeem himself. And during his journey going in there, he got into trouble. He got captured by this thing. And because of that, Goku had to flew back to find uh, Bogatan, and then Bogatan came and rescued him. And that's when he's when she saw the Mifasol. So anyway, that was a very good episode by I think it was directed by Rachel something. I forgot what's her last name, but uh, you can go back and find out uh, or rewatch or. You, watch that if you haven't watched it yet anyway i'm gonna example this today and as you can see um this is the front and then on the side it looks like this and then the back more description of how what it looks like after finished assembling it so it tells you kind of this kind of stuff okay so before further ado let me open this This is a bigger box than the other ones that I got uh, recently so that you might actually take a bit longer time for me to build this. However, I really don't think it's that complicated because I don't think it's that troublesome. Okay, so it comes with one bag, two bag, three bag, and four bag. And then you also come with the bootlet as usual. As you can see that the bootlet is quite bigger than the other ones that I have shown you before. So Okay, so there are lots of description and also much bigger. So let me build this and then let's see how it looks.
So I just finished assembling this set. It took me about an hour. The reason is because it took quite a long time for me to build the limbs. And it got kind of boring after a while because it just can, it kind of felt re repetitive. But after finished building it, even though I'm not, I wasn't, you know, the reason why I got this is not because of the spider, but because of the figurines, which I will go back later on. Um, but after a while, it does seem kind of cool. I mean, not something that I would like, oh yeah, the reason, the purpose of buying it. But it is quite versatile. Um, the legs, it really does feel like, you know, a spider kind of stuff. It's not very, I mean, you holds the, the body, but I'm not really sure if I push it, how much force I apply on the back, it will actually collapse. But it does do well. It does add like a real spider, I guess. The only thing about this is that um, they focus too much on here. So I guess the purpose is to like have that kind of like a shock thing to prevent to, to prevent shocks. But here is kind of fixed so that but it makes sense though in a way i guess and then the course is kind of like i don't know it doesn't seem like it's gonna stay very long but it does move around like this so it does looks like it looks more like a crab than a spider but and then here the thing the, fang, the fangs that you actually can move it like this but you cannot really go uh, closing it um the head doesn't really move a lot if i put push a little bit hard like higher you're probably gonna come to pieces um but overall it's not it's not bad I mean, there are lots of passes like this one. I think that is redundant and unnecessary. And it's probably gonna be the the first few pass that is you're gonna end up losing uh, if you're gonna move it around. Um, the inside looks like this. There isn't much to see, um, but you can close it. Uh, I can go push it all the way there. And these two are the weapons, so if you pass it, the, the green thing is gonna come out. So I think this is good though to be like that. So if I accidentally pass these two level, level um, I wouldn't lose these two pieces. I kind of like, kind of find it strange here that um, it's like this here. It's just so flat like that. Uh, I understand that you need a, that's the way for you to pull it up, but the color should could have been much better here. Uh, overall, um, I think that like the core thing, I I I, don't, I didn't really like it, but the legs thing is quite um, interesting. You actually, I kind of go into liking it, but I understand that the purpose of having that is so that then German could be you know being core on which that's what happened in this series uh but i do remember on the soul you actually there's something else that actually caught him though so i don't think it's the claws i think they, the claws are just something that they add as extra so that just for you to have the figure in here so overall i'm not a big fan of this thing um, but it was quite a interesting building this, like how to build a course. Even though it did become a little bit boring building it because you cannot be repetitive, but compared to many other Lego set, when you have to repetitively building the same thing over and over, it, it's not that difficult here. Um, it's very easy. 
and the past most importantly this past actually stay together it seems much more stable than many other uh all the all the models i have tried to build so um not bad uh i mean at least it makes sense to have it here like that so uh but then again though there are still some unnecessary pieces that i i just think they could it could have been better but overall it's quite cool i mean it's still very cool but i wouldn't say that that is the reason why i would buy it uh anyway now let's go back to the most important part of this set is Boga Ten Chris. uh for honestly to be honest mando and baby yoda or goku then goku they are the same almost the same similar figurines since uh, the other previous set that I had built so that there's not very really much to see uh, but I can still show it to you guys that this is what how realistic it looks like uh, the dust saber I must say though it is different than the other set the dust saber here is actually had, looks like a blade well, I know that uh, for the other set, it just kind of like a what, what. So, anyway, the back of it, that is a jetpack, and then he has some gun, and if you take out the helmet, it is still looks like that. Uh, for some reason, I don't understand, but Mando never really have a black, like a back like a second phase feature so i think that that's i think that that it could have been better like they could have made it something much more unique for this set but they decided not to and then baby baby yoda goku still looks the same I'm trying to get it focused for you guys okay so anyway uh, those two are repetitive for me but if this is your first set that's i mean that's cool I mean, you probably f would like it. Okay, so basically, this is what she looks like, and this is what it looks like on the back with the jack pack. Uh, I think the most unique thing about it is I'm trying to zoom in is the um the armor the on the shoulder. I think that many people talk about how awesome it looks looks. With the dot out. So this is a the very cool figurine. And the cool thing about this is that she has two face. So this is what it looks like on this right here. And then the other one looks like this. So it's one smiley and then the other one is like the anger version or the Kumo version. So uh she comes with the hair as well as the helmet. So this is what it looks like. And the helmet is awesome, I think. It's very realistic too. So I very I really like this figurine. So basically this uh is the whole set. This is what the whole set looks like. Um would you would I recommend you getting this? Um given the fact that right now this is the only set with the um Boca Tan Chris. Um I would definitely go for it if you haven't have previous Boca Tan Chris figurines. And I'm not really sure that when are they gonna have a new set with another uh Boca Tan. However I must say though uh this does it does this worth that much money because it actually cost me about sixty US dollars and and the stuff that I, the I mean the spider is looks cool like I said before but I wasn't have I, I, I wasn't finding it interesting to build it to pay that much for to build it. I think the reason why they even charge you this much is because they know people is gonna want uh Boga Ten. And you know I, I, I'm I, I'm stuck. I, I mean they win so that's why I got it. Um, it really, like I said before, you really depend on if you are a big fan of 
The Mandalorian, and if you really want to have Boba Tan as a collection. Otherwise, if you just want to collect these two, uh, then Gogu and Ding Jun, you're not don't really care about Boba Tan. Then I think that this is not. I I will not spend money on this set. Otherwise, uh, I would definitely so recommend you to get it. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.